Hey guys, what is going on? Bleaker here, and today we are back with another episode of Factorio as played by an engineer. Um, in between episodes, I kind of tweaked a few things. Um, right here, I added a buffer to store iron. I'm actually going to make that buffer bigger, just so that I could kind of keep the flow of iron like constantly being producing and build up like a stock. And then if I ever ran low, I could pull from that, as you can see right here. Um, let's see here, gear production. I might. I think I tweaked um, how I did some of the production here. Like, I think I tweaked gears. I know I definitely just tweaked um, green circuits. So that's about all I did. I also spent a little bit of extra time uh, chopping down forest. I cleared this entire area. I cleared a good portion of this. I actually have a mod installed that it only takes 0.1 seconds for me to actually cut down a tree while still, excuse me, wearing down my... my um, iron axe the same amount so that has been very very infinitely helpful so in this episode i think we're gonna round off the last of the things we're gonna need to make before we start doing our smelting here and making our giant factory so we've automated transport belt we've automated underground belt i'm actually going to ditch a few of these logs here oh there we go I don't need them right now anyways yeah that frees up a little bit of space in my inventory I think I also improved my mine my ore mining I did a little bit of off-camera work just to try and make this episode a little bit smoother so now we're gonna automate inserters splitters and we're also going to automate assembly machines if we have time I will also completely automate our science which shouldn't be too hard, but let's start with inserter. So it's gonna require one electronic circuit, which we have right here, um, one iron gear, which we have over here, and one iron plate. So basically what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to pull from my storage here, bring over my, oh, come on, there we go. Yeah, we'll just do it like this. Bring over my green circuits, and we'll just kind of do that over here. And we'll get some assembly machines first. We're going to do the assembly machines too. They're just a little bit faster. I also did a little bit of uh, research too off camera. So just to make, um, just so I had like access to a whole bunch of stuff. I think I'm just now missing stuff as I don't need walls. Basically, I'm not doing any of the military because it's useless and just a waste of resources. I'm basically just, now I need to start doing green science next. So it takes a little bit to actually make the assembly machines. There we go. Oh, I also added in a couple lights here and there just to brighten the place up. <laughs> I cry every time. Lick this if you cry ever, Tim. Actually, I'm going to redo this just slightly, and I'll tell you my reasoning why. Because my long-handed inserter, which I'm going to use to reach over, is much slower than a fast inserter. So the fast inserter is going to bring in two materials, whereas the long-handed inserter is only going to bring in one because it's slower. So long-handed inserter will bring in one chip, one of the basic circuits, or the electronic circuits, whereas the fast inserter is going to bring in one iron it's going to bring in the one iron and the one iron gear so just a little bit smarter to do it this way just a little bit more efficient all right advanced one one and two Maybe three, just because I'm going to be using these also in green circuitry. So then... Get one, get two. What am I missing? I'm missing iron. Well then! I am going to be so thankful when I'm actually able to just automate this. Robotic arms, please. Thank you. Oh, 
want this to just get stored, you know, right here seems just fine. Make a box. There we go. Drop down an electric pole. Nice. And I only want that many being made. Might end up upgrading you to a fast insert. We'll, we'll kind of see how you're able to keep up. Now bring up the last bit of our belt. The right way, preferably. Alright, that's looking pretty average at best, I'd say. Yeah, it's definitely not going to be able to keep up. What did I do? No, 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 I don't. One will be just fine. One will be just fine. Oh shit, it looks like it's actually waiting on the... Are we not making enough iron gears? We are not making enough iron gears. Alright, first off, upgrade that so we make iron gears a little faster. I just totally blew a... Just totally. No, no power, nowhere. Nope. Not no way, no how. Um, I also kind of made my stuff with my uh, modular design just in case this were to happen and I can uh, quickly upgrade. Probably not my best idea to have it, like, pulling off of that, but it should be okay. Yeah, it looks like those will keep up. I would prefer to have the faster um, assembly machines in there, the assembly machine twos. That allows me to make one. I want one more. There we go. Uh, yep, we're bringing in full resources. So at this point, it's not the amount of iron I'm bringing in that's limiting me. It's how fast I'm able to smelt it. But this will just have to hold us over for the time being. We're just going to have to suffer through. Like the pioneers did in the old days. Alright, yeah, this is going to be just fine for our purposes here. Okay, so that is... Inserters being automated. Let's get splitters automated, which is going to be... I'm just going to split off. So I'm going to need some iron, and I'm going to need some electronic circuits, and I'm going to split off transport belts. So we'll kind of split off transport belts here. I think I'm going to actually need the advanced, the assembly machine twos for this next part portion. So I don't believe you can make splitters in an assembly machine one. Alright, so next thing we're going to need is we're going to need electronic circuits, which we have right there. We're going to need iron. We have right here. Not really going to be a good way to break this off. I got to think here. I've kind of automated, automated myself into a corner. Let me think about that here. There, yeah, this should be fine. And another splitter. I left enough room. Not really. Let's just kind of move everything over one more.
We're not going to need too terribly many splitters here right off the bat. So I'm, I'm just going to try and get away with one assembly machine for these. If I need more, I think i got enough room to put in another. Put those all in a iron chest, I guess. Because I don't have... I don't have any wood! I literally chopped down three forests worth of wood, and I don't have any wood. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. I will be fine. And there. That is all automated up. Now, if I could just not be dealing with a shortage of iron... Iron... Let's just kind of do that. Just get complete throughput here. Yeah, looking A-OK -okay if I do say so myself. So we got splitters being automated. We have inserters almost finished with their automation. Not too bad if I do say so myself. Not too bad. So that, and now let's do assembly machines. Might as well. I know I'm going to regret bringing up this line again, but this is just going to be easier. This line of iron and... is That's just going to be easier in the long run for me. Yeah, it looks like we're getting some pretty okay throughput here now. Definitely getting some pretty okay throughput. Let's add in just one more. Now I actually have a backup on iron, which is just great. seem to get copper down there. Alright, because these require three and these only make two, I would have to add in like another copper machine. So what happens is copper only makes two, but these require three. So the so in order to supply this one I would need to add on two more. Which I could, I guess. If I really wanted to, which green circuits are going to be pretty valuable here, especially since I'm going to have to um, do science off of them. So we'll just add in, we'll add in another one. It's kind of the way I make these factories because I know I'm going to goof quite frequently. So I make them kind of um, goof proof. Yeah, uh, yeah, goof proof. We're just going to call it goof proofing. We are goof proofing. That is, that is going to be the new catch line of this whole series. It's all about the goof proof. I, I actually really like that. I'm going to roll with that. We're going to goof proof. I'm a factorial engineer. I goof proof things. That's my job. Now where was I? Right. Where was I? Oh, right. Um, assembly machine Mach 1. So that's going to be... Three electronic circuits. Okay, perfect. Let's just do a split right here. And I'm going to use an assembly machine to make an assembly machine. There it is, we solved the mystery. You have to make the components first, then you can make the thing that makes the components. My god, that's been like an ever-pressing question my entire life. Well, I can die. I can die pretty happy now. Actually, I can't. I'm going to Disney World later this year. We'll postpone that. We'll postpone that. Just put a pin in it. And... Eh. 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 There we go. And a long 
long handed insert again. Need some iron. Hmm, weird. Anyways, I'm going to need that. We just kind of put that there. Drop an electric pole. Drop an iron chest. Let's say I'm only going to keep about two stacks of these in stock. So I think that'll be enough. I think. And let's actually tell it to make the assembly machines. But of course, I am an idiot and I actually need assembly machine twos. Which means I'm also going to need a little bit of iron gear. Now we can make the thing that makes the things. And again, I'm, I am still goofing. I'm still goofing. I needed some long-handed inserters. Now we're cooking with petrol, gas, whatever, whatever you people call it. And I'd say that's looking good. The engineer observed it and it was good. So do I have enough time to automate? my sciences? I could? I could automate my sciences? Give me that. Give it to me. Mm, let's see here. I'm going to need an iron gear. One copper plate. So let's just do like another iron gear production. We'll just do this right here. We'll do this one specifically for our science. And we got iron. Input here, output there. Bring up the material. Bring out the material. At the same time, I want to split off. Why was I about to make that? I automated that. Give me about half a stack of those. Thank you. And let's split off and I, let's split off a little bit of copper because I'm going to need that. And I want in there. Tell that to make red science, copy that over. Bring in the resources, output the science. Everybody stand back, I'm about to science here. And sweet, we're making red science. Now in order to make green science, we're gonna need an inserter and a transport belt. Oh Jesus, this, this right here, this was like made for what I'm about to do. Probably gonna want an assembly machine Mach 2 making this stuff. Hmm. Shortage of iron again. Shocking. There we go. Assembly machine Mach 2. It's not really a Mach 2, I just call it a Mach 2. Cause I'm mocking it. Ah uh, ha I have no. Okay, just to prove that I know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing actually. I put that stuff way too close to the belt. It's hectic, it's chaotic. But hell, it works. Sort of. Kind of. 
Kind of, sort of. And boom. That should be most of everything that I'm going to need now. Got my sciencey stuff up there. And we're going to run over some copper, but it'll be fine. It's fine. It's all fine. Sweet, so now I have two of my sciences automated. So now I can do more advanced stuff, which I'll probably end up doing off camera just to fight a little bit of the boredom. Not too much boredom though, I gotta have just the right amount of boredom in these playthroughs. Keep you guys entertained. Yeah, I'm gonna need some more iron. Alright guys, thank you very much for your support on the series thus far. We're about a third of the way I'd say through this season. Uh, when we come back next time, we are hopefully going to automate, and actually going to do our smelting facility, based off of uh, my smelting video design, which I will post next, which I will post in next episode's link. Uh, but until next time, guys, this has been your host Bleaker, and until ne that next time, be seeing you. I goofed. Bye. <laughs>